Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi jami'an wabarakatuhu and good day everyone so our topic for today is all about the Ibn Miskawai this report is reported by me uh, Muhaymin Salim and uh, Abu Bakar Basir and Mama Abdul Hamid this is my task biography of Miss Kawai her name is Abu Ali Ahmad bin Muhammad bin Yaakob bin Miss Kawai he born on 320 Hijra and 932 AD at pinanganak siya sa Rej Jiarid, Iran. At he did on 421 Hijra at 1030 AD at namatay siya sa isa Ispahan Kuyarid Iran Her religion is Iran He interest uh, History Theology Philosophy Chemistry and Poetry Ibn Miskawai Known as the father Of Islamic ethics At and he is the third teacher of Mu'alim. The first teacher of at this time is C. Aristotle and the second is C. Al-Farabi and pangatlo C. Uh, Ibn Miskawai. At this time, Ibn Miskawai he studied he is study the traditional ethics he he was a permanent figure in the intellectual and cultural life at, of his time even even in his why his idea was based on aristotle and plato's ideas known as a new neoplatonism neoplatonism is that is belief in the pre sentence ex sentence and morality of the soul uh, Ibn Miskawa himself worked as the librarian for the for the libraries of a number of the visitors. And during the Abbasid rule, Ibn Miskawa he was also a minister. And the time of uh, Ibn Miskawa. Uh, his effect on Islamic philosophy in mainly concerned with ethical issue. The, the next is the contribution of Ibn Miskawai. Al Fawz al, al, al Asghar, the similar the the similar the win metaphysical basis of the ethics. Uh, this book is the metaphysics and theology consisting of the philosophical interpretation of the three fundamental of Islam which is uh, the belief in Allah Islam and the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the second is the al, al umam the experience of nation universal universal history from the beginning of of Islam. This is the famous history of beginning of Islam. This book is Yunga, uh, Experience of Nation and the famous history of uh, Islam. The third is Tadadil al Tadahil al Akrat the reference of the character uh, 
This book is the first Islamic book and Islam, and also this book is the first major Islamic work works on philosophy, philosophical ethics, and also this book is discuss the character, character, humanity, and uh, practical ethics, and also this book is contains an original theory and educational young, young boys, and also this book is we have the five makala or section so if nikron is nakatayf is seven so five talaga yan so the one uh, one is uh, and the first is uh, soul and its virtue and second is the character humanity and method of training young boys or names uh, the the third is suffering happiness and the five is medicine for soul and the last is restoring health health to the soul. Uh, Plotus remarked that music is the medicine of the soul to help us or you to express positive emotion such of such as our gratitude. So that's uh, my task on this report. Uh, the next report is uh, C. Basir. And that's all. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. So this is already continuation of the Ibn Mikshawaiya, uh, the refinement of the characters. So this is a refinement of the characters. So when you say refinement of characters, the human perfection can be the attend the to the the through the condition which is are the so uh, being a social uh, being a social and the rational. So there are the two aspect uh, of the human perfection. So number one is the uh, theoretical perfection, so acquired to uh, knowledge and the sciences. So the um, the next is the practical perfection. So perfection is all the kinds of the action of the governance. So. Uh, so uh, this is a combination uh, of both aspects are the perfection leads to uh, the, the complete uh, of the happiness to in the, and then also the, the final end of pra, uh, practical life. So, so so even makes Hawaii yeah, the strongly the belief that the ultimate uh, uh, goals of human life it is to, it's it's to achieve the happiness. Uh, he argued that the that the true. Ha hap happiness is not limited to material wealth or the physical pressure, but they are rather a state of moral and the intellectual well-being. So the next is the definition of kuluk. So uh, characters of kuluk. So when you say the character of kuluk, it's a state. Uh, the soul. It's a state of the soul that enables it to perform. Uh, it is action without the any reflection and deliberation. So when you say the character of Kuluk, this another words, it is a disposition or the state of the being that allows the individuals to the act in the morality, moral in the righteous way uh, that is a form the natural. So there are the two types of the characters, characters of uh, Kuluk. So number one is the natural inborn, the characters, uh, characters, a natural temperament, adult ion, mil al asal mizad. So Ang ganitong uri ng karakter ay likas na bahagi na natural na ugali ng isang individual. So, ito ay naroon eh, mula sa pagsilang at naimpluensya ng mga likas na katangian at disposisyon ng tao. And also, ang taong may ganitong uri na karakter ay may posibilidad na nagpapakita na mabuting pag-ugali ng hindi nangangailangan, na, uh, nangangailangan ng panglabas na eh, impluensya o pagsasanay. So, the next is the the characters that the form the true the costume and the training the build uh, that will the robe, which is begins with uh, reflection and the deliberation uh, first but uh, the the later the will that gradually becomes a faculty mala malaka and the characters of the kulukan so uh, ang ganitong uh, characters naman ang ganitong uri ng characters na ito is uh, ay nabubuo sa paglipas ng panahon na sa pamagitan ng mga paglaba, panlabas na impluensya na, uh, na pagsasa, uh, pagsasanay at edukasyon sa una. Ito ay maaaring may uh, kasama na malay na pagsisikap na pagiging perfecto. 
So based uh, the last is the uh, based on observation of the Mixawaya, they rejected we the view that described the characters all as unalterable un cities are uh, the completely determined by the nature. So and it, and also they believes that the characters is a form the shape the sooner or the later the true the educational and the learning uh, he built the arub wa ta'lim. So and through the uh, association with the good and the virtues the people. So, so ayon kay Ibn Miss Hawaii, so ang pagkakiba ng, sa pagitan ng dalawang uri ng karakter na ito ay sumasailalim sa uh, kanyang mga idea na pagbuo ng moral na at banal. So, ang pagugali sa mga individual na kung saan ang ilan uh, ay maaring natural na, na, na nagtataglay nito na habang ang iba ay maaring uh, linangin ito sa pamamagitan ng uh, pagla pagpapalaki at pagsasanay. So, sukran and assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Abdul Hamid A. Mama and this is the continuation of our report about Ibn Miskaway. According to Ibn Miskaway, ito ang mga nagsisilbing way that character can be formed. And first of all is the is instruction and knowledge. Instruction and knowledge ay napaka-importante ng baging parte ng isang tao. You can clearly see the difference between the tao na may knowledge and wala by their action or their characteristic. Second is socialization. Socialization is saito sa nagperform ng karakter ng tao because minsan nakasalalay sa mga nakakasalamuhan natin yung karakter na nasa sa atin. The best way to gain good behavior is dapat yung mga tao na nakapaligid sa atin is yung mga taong mabubuti. Number three, habituation of religion, Islamic law, and good manner. Sa ito sa best na nagperform sa karakter ng isang tao because we all know na ang Islam is, is a way of life. Next is reinforcement of reward and warning. Sa ito sa mabisang paraan to form the character of a person kasi by this way is masasanay or makokontrol nila yung sarili nila, sarili nila to avoid and to encourage depend on the type of action refinement of the soul maraming example na ng tao na dumaan muna sa pagsubok bago naging mabuting tao means that even rough life is merong positive impact sa tao that can form the character of a person Discipline of the soul in this way. We can train our feelings, our emotion, especially to form our character. Prevention from mga aspect na maaring mapasama ang ating character is another way of forming our character in good. According to Ibn Miskawai, these are the reason or aim of training young boys. Number one, it is not easy for adults to change character with which he has grown up and been roots. Mahirap na talagang ituwid or disiplina ang taong lumaki at nasanay sa ugaling hindi maganda. Lalo na ito na ang kanyang kinalakihan. Kaya according, to, according kay Ibn Miskawai, dapat bata pa lang or malit pa lang ang isang tao ay disiplinahin na ito. Number 2. For neglect of training will cause every human being to remain in a condition he was in during childhood. May mga taong napapansin natin na yung kanilang pag-iisip ay hindi nagmamature. Ito ay outcome ng hindi masyadong na-train how to act or think that is accurate sa kanilang edad. Number 3. These good manners which are useful for the boys are likewise useful to older people but they are more useful to the young. Because the soul of boy is ready to accept training. According to Ibn Maskawai, may mga good manners na useful for both young and older people. Pero ito ay mas nakakapagbigay halaga sa mga kabataan. Dahil ang mga kabataan ay hindi na matrain to have and nurture that good manners unlike sa older people. But if intimidation is employed, then it is best to pretend not to notice if he himself realized the mistake and try to conceal and hide it. If may mga ling nangyari or nagawa ang isang bata, ay mas mabuting wag na itong pansinin lalo na na-realize naman ng bata na siya ay nagkamali 
at itinatama naman niya ito. Ang sa gayon, ay hindi bumaba ang self-confidence at hindi magbago on how he socialize with others. If it necessary to reproach the boy for the mistake he had done, it should be done in secret. Actually, this kind of approach is not just effective for the, for the youth. It should be naturalized that if someone made a mistake, we should correct them in private. Kasi minsan, imbes ng layunin natin, ay itama sila, dating ito sa kanila ay pinapahiya. Na mas lalong magiging rebelde ang isang bata. Kaya mas nakakabuti na kausapin natin sila privately. After all this psychological method, the, the educator can change to physical punishment if the methods are not useful or not successful and it is really needed. If all the way to correct them ay nagawa na natin and we really need to punish them nang sila ay magtanda or para di na nila maulit ang kanilang kasalanan, we can apply a physical punishment pero again, if it is really needed lamang, hanggang maari ay iwasan natin ang ganitong uri ng punishment. Students with Loneliness Ayon kay Ibn Miskaway, ang layunin ng ethics ay para maging social active ang isang student na nagiging dahilan upang maging masaya ito while socializing with other people. Therefore, those people that's feeling lonely should be helped by the counselor. These are the way that counselor could help to achieve active happiness for those lonely person. Write gratitude at journal, involved in physical goods like sports, Increase in spiritual goods like performing sunnah prayer. In this way, they can socialize with others that will result in active happiness and aid their loneliness. In addition, you can apply cognitive restructing and giving social skill training na magiging way for them to socialize. In that way, the loneliness that students feel will fade away. Students with Behavior Problem Si Ibn Miskaway ay naniniwala na ugali ng isang tao ay napoform and shaped by education and socialize with other good people. Therefore, makakatulong ang isang counselor to avoid this problem by using an edu educational method that can form good character. Number one, students need to avoid any association that encourage bad habit. Kinakailangan ng isang estudyante ay umiwas sa mga taong magiging dahilan upang ma-form or makakuha siya ng bad habit or characteristic dito. Kailangan piliin ang makakasalamuha nang sa ganun ay hindi tayo maligaw ng landas. Discipline of the soul through training and moderation and patient. Ang pagdisiplina sa ating spiritual aspect ay isa sa dahilan upang magin natin ng good characteristic. If ever may mga student na may behavior problem, is this may could help them to correct. Number three, develop good character through ta'alim. Instruct them in good character, explain the result and how important being in a good character nang sa gayon ay may tama yung kanilang characteristic. Other than that is modeling and extinction. These are the behavior therapy that can help also be a role model for them. If they see the positive outcome of being in a good character, it is maingani sila to achieve that kind of character. And that's all. Thank you, Paul.